I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it is important to have that, um, to put yourself in a position where um, you can spend the last 10% just like, like putting love flavored frosting on the top of your cake, basically. You know, instead of having to spend the last 10% tearing your hair out and, you know, um, making sure that you fix this crash and this crash and this crash, if the, if the last chunk of the game is going through and going, man, there's like, there's one section of the game that's off by like, you know, like four pixels, and you just go, and you're like, oh my god, it's so much better. Like, it feels so much better now. And like, this sound effect, like, is, you know, it was in as a placeholder and we thought it was okay, but really it's not okay. It's one sound has to change. And getting it just as, for your own personal satisfaction, for your own not wanting to kill yourself when you finish a project, being able to sit there and, like I said earlier, play it, and all of a sudden you're not actually testing for bugs anymore, you're actually playing, and it's smooth, and you can't detect, uh, you know, it's like, like a, a, a rough piece of wood that has splinters in it, and I think it's this, this last step of, it feels like your game, like you got all the splinters out of it. And it's this smooth thing that feels like it's supposed to. And um, being able to do that is so deeply satisfying. And I don't, I don't know if we get to do it that often, but the more the better. I think that the, the last 10%, the most important bit is actually the last, just the 11% you go. Because you go, right, we've committed now. This is, we're committing now to polish. So you can actually do that in that phase. Um, and, um, and making sure that you use polish for polish instead of just polish for adding features. No. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the word should is probably the thing that holds the most weight for me in, in that particular question. And the last 10% should be uh, the game is complete. Uh, you finished it. Um, you've got time to do whatever you want. Uh, you've, you've gotten to beta and you've given the game completed to whoever it is that you need to give to, because that's seldom happens. Um, and, uh, and when I say complete, I mean you got to beta and you didn't have to cut anything and it all went as smoothly as possible <laughs> and, uh, and, and you had a really great team of really talented people that you will remember working with for the rest of your life. And, and there's a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you can get that scenario, like that yeah. does happen, but I mean, I, I, coming from a fine arts background, uh, you can stand in front of a painting and just keep uh, making uh, more and more uh, brushwork over and over and over and over and over and over. And a lot of the time, you really do need a second set of eyes to come up and say, "Stop! Uh, it's finished," and you'll overdo it. Um, just step back from a couple of for a second. Have find brutally honest friends who are outside of any normal production thing, or who can, you can, you can send them your thing when you think you're in your last 10%, and you're like, is it okay? Is it really okay? And if they're like, yeah, man, it feels good, then yeah. you know that, like, okay, I, I, I'm not, I'm not messing with it anymore, like, I, I, even though I want to keep, like, painting that thing for over and over, like, they, they, they really think it looks okay, because if they didn't, they would be like, this is crap. Like, I love you, and we're going to play Street Fighter later, but, like, <laughs> like, this thing is not done, and I don't like it. When you find those brutally honest friends, lavish them with love and attention and do not ever let them go. Yes, they're really hard to find. Yeah. Like, brutally honest friends, <laughs> really hard to find. But don't let get too cocky because they'll start giving you like design uh, <laughs> suggestions and stuff. <laughs> that they think they have the power to actually to get in there and stuff. Yeah. Could you have given that to me in the 10th set? The last set? Yeah, that would have been helpful. It's unfortunate, but that's going to have to be about the end of our panel. So I'd just like to thank Adam, Simon, Robert and Nathan for their time today. Thank you Paul. It's been a pleasure. So most of them you'll probably find wandering around over free play. However, Rob's sick of us and he's on his way home pretty much immediately. So. Sorry.